You're a goofball. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Today is Whip and Chat Monday. Can I get a shake? Trapper. Can I get a shake? Thank you. Good boy. That's all I got. You can have the last piece of crust from the pizza. Okay, everybody, let's get into this video. Sorry for... That trapper was just sitting here and he looked way too cute to not show off. Let me. Sorry for the movement. I'm trying to adjust you guys so you have a good eye of sight. Or line of sight, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so. I'm working on Timney Arts. Oh, here, I'll show you. So, Timney Arts, you can see it's a big bass chasing, chasing a bluegill. Trapper, don't move. I dropped my tray. All right. So, it's a big bass chasing a little guppy, or guppy, bluegill. I already got this section filled in from my live stream Saturday. I just want to tell you guys, I am sorry for calling and it's such a short live stream on Saturday. I felt horrible, but I was so tired. I stayed up until, oh, did I cut it or did I not cut it? I stayed up way too late. I stayed up until like four o'clock in the morning on a live stream and then doing whatever I wanted to do. Oh shoot, it's ripping all the way off to the side. <clears throat> well, I really screwed that up. But fixable. Okay, I got it all figured out. I situated it. We're gonna go ahead and jump into getting some colors over here. I am so not ready. Like I said, I had an upset stomach. I really didn't even want to record this. I was just going to say, eh, no video. But I want to show you guys something before I get, like, way off task. Um. I bought some polymer clay after my live on Saturday. Me and my sister sat here and played with clay. And we made this pen out of polymer clay and a pink pink pen. So there's that one. And then my sister made this one. 
Well, she made, she really made both of these, trying different things. I, I, they're freaking gorgeous. This one we made a little bit thicker for a little bit more comfort. And then today I got up and I was like, I'm going to make a couple. So I made this one. And don't judge me, it's pink and purple and teal and silver. Super, super easy to make. You can make your own drill pins. So, this one I was making, and I had so much left over. So you see I had this strip here, and then this strip here left over. And I was like, how can I fill in the gaps? So I just put some lime green in there, and I think it looks freaking awesome. And then, after I was all done making those, I have another one I made, which is this one. And then, after I got done making these two and this one, I had a bunch of supplies left over. So I was like, mix them all together, see what you get. And let me tell you what. turned out freaking sweet. I think this is my favorite one of all. Just all the colors kind of rainbow together. This was just taking all of them and mixing them together. But let me see if I can grab this polymer set and I'll show you guys. So this is the set I got. It is at Michael's it's Sculpey 3, which had... Sculpey 1 would be this. Sculpey 2, I think, would be 3. And Sculpey 3 was 5. Which all boils down to... All these colors. And you can see the colors I used. How much I used. This one looks like it's low because I use a bunch of the both of those. I think this color here is, is my absolute favorite. But super cheap, affordable, easy to make. So I decided to make them. Um, I didn't do an unboxing on that because I was so excited to, to try making them. I broke it open and just went at it. Um, that set there is $34, $34.99 or something like that at, at uh, Michael's. And I had a 40% coupon, so it dropped it to $17.99. Something like that. It is safe for your oven. I was just advised by a couple of different people, my sister being one, because she used to play with polymer clay. She said whatever tray I use to make it, to cook this on, do not use it for any sort of food. I will be making a video on how to make this, if you guys want to see it. Oh, I almost dropped it. If you guys want to see it, I will make a video and I will make a couple options. This one just draws my attention for some reason. And then some of these um, polymer clays have glitter in them, so they're, they got sparkle and they got some shine to them. They got a little bit of glistening to them. They shine like a diamond. I don't know why I, I...
I don't know if there was... I know it doesn't say on the container what's sparkly and what's not, but I, I think there's like a, a quarter of the colors are sparkly. The uh, teal's got sparkle in it. The silver has sparkle in it. So that's why I've been trying to mix, find colors to mix. I like pink. I'm not afraid of pink. Some people go, oh god, you're a guy and you like pink. Yeah, well, you know what? Real men wear pink. Real men don't care what freaking color clothes they're working, wearing or what freaking color pen they're using. I don't care. If I like it, I'm going to use it. And depending on the thickness of these, some of these are just... They are comfortable. Let me tell you what. I have my my big acrylic pen. Well, I don't I don't call it big. It's not really a big pen. It's just I love that pen. It's just it hurts my hand after diamond painting with it for over a, a couple hour period. If I'm diamond painting for like two hours, my hand starts hurting for some reason. I think it's because it's so big around and this fits my hand more. I'm still going to keep it. I just... I stopped using it because it hurts my hand after a long period of time. Hold on. i got to open some sweet tea. Some gold peak sweet tea. The good stuff. I'm a sucker for some sweet tea. Oh, uh, I've been drinking a lot of sweet tea lately. I mean, I, I drink sweet tea a lot anyways, but... The store by my house now has the Gold Peak sweet tea on sale for two for three bucks, so... I've been buying a lot of those instead of monsters which I I don't matter to me what what I'm drinking I like monsters in the morning if I'm tired but I would definitely love to drink some sweet tea so This is this kind of ramble talk. I don't know. I, I was so excited to talk to you guys and show you guys pins and see what you wanted. If you wanted me to make a video playing with Paul and McClay. Now, it's probably going to be a long video because it takes 20 to 25 minutes to bake a pin depending on the thickness of it. No, I'm not going to sit there and watch the whole thing bake, or cook, or if you want to call it, and let you guys sit there and watch the oven and not do anything. No. Maybe I'll diamond paint. Maybe I will just pause the camera and, and come back. Let me know what you guys want. I mean, you guys are the ones watching. I, I want to know your opinion. I But today has been a pretty lazy day. Like I was saying, my stomach has just been unhappy today. My side, my left side of my stomach, like right underneath the, the rib cage up front, it feels like somebody slugged me in my gut. Oh man, it's like all day long. I've been hit in the gut before, but man, I don't know what this is, but all day. Up until about 7 o'clock, it finally started to stop hurting. 
and I was like, ugh, maybe I can record my video today. Because I, I usually record this video on Sundays because that's an a open day for me. I, I, I don't want to be doing anything on Sunday because Sunday is my, actually one of my days off. And another thing I wanted to talk about was I may be changing some of my scheduling because I know I've talked about it a little bit here and there, but hunting season is coming up in the next couple of months. I am going to be gone quite a bit with that. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. I was eating pe leftover pizza from last night. It gave me the hiccups last night. But anyways. So, I figured we would just, the rest of the video, we would just kind of go over the last week kind of do a review of the videos I did over the l last week uh, almost like a progress report to you guys because uh, I do have a few questions uh, nothing like majorly concerning I'm just curious because I want I want your guys' feedback if you don't like something tell me um, one of the topics is is my Wednesday paint with me where I work on my paint my number I don't know if everybody's just busy I know everybody has a life and if they're not going to be on YouTube for a day that's their opinion that's their their deal. Everybody deserves some time off. I'm not telling you, oh, you have to watch my stuff all the time, but I was just noticing like the last two paint with me's the, uh, the views have been about half of what they usually are. And I was like, well, maybe people are getting tired of the tags. Maybe people are getting tired of watching that picture come to life. I'm not sure. So, please leave some feedback for me so I can make improvements. I know there's a, still a handful of you that say, yeah, we like it. And they actually, there's a, still quite a few of you that watch and comment and I'm just looking for feedback. That's all. And another thing is... What color is that? Oh, uh, never mind. I was looking at my lighting here. It looks good on your guys' end, but to me, it's kind of dark. And I thought I was going in the wrong spot. But... Another topic I was going to tell you guys, I finally figured out a name for my second channel. It is, I named it J-T-M-J and Fish. And the reason why I named it that is because this channel is Jeremy at J-T-M-J Crafts. So... JTMJ means Jeremy Trapper and Mary Jane. Since I'm the camera guy on the second video, and Trapper and Mary Jane and the fish are the main, your guys' main, um, um, actors, so per se, I thought that fit. So then I was like, well, I do have the fish, and I was like, well, I just add fish at the end. And then I hem hauled around it, and I'm like, you know what? I like it. So I made the change. So if you are subscribed to that channel, and I know a few of you guys have, 
and I truly appreciate that. I think I'm, um, I don't know, I'm, I just walked into my room before I was, I was getting my easel, and I got so distracted because one of my brand new fish was dead, and I'm an emotional wreck when it comes to my animals. I'll be the first one to tell you, did I put that all the way over there, or did it fall? No, I think I put it there. But I took it off now. But I'm an emotional wreck when it comes to my animals. Or if I hear anybody's animals do anything. Um, like Miss Coffee's live stream. She was telling the story of Daisy took off running and went up and laid down in front of Maggie. And then when Maggie had her seizure, she fell on top of Daisy, that just, I was a sopping ball of freaking crybaby, just listening to that, and I was just like, even right now, I just, I don't know why, I've always been like that, people say, ah, oh, you're a freaking crybaby, it's like, no, I just have a good heart, I care, I've became... What I consider, sorry, I'm getting teary-eyed. <clears throat> From what I consider, you guys are really good friends, if not family. And listening to some stories of your guys' dogs or your cats, it tears me up. I, I don't know, I just, I care. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. It's like, I care so much, it, it breaks my heart to see an animal hurting, or a, even a human. I mean, I know my dad just lost one of his dogs to cancer, and I know Trapper's only three, and they say a lab's life is... 11 to 14 years he's had a hard three years of his life he's had surgery to remove stomach or rock from his stomach and a ball uh, he's, he's just had a hard life so I try to baby him as much as I possibly can it's like today he took off running out the house. I opened the sliding glass door. He's sitting at the... Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Squirrel. He was sitting at the sliding glass door, and he's just sitting over there just, just shaking away. And I'm like, what do you want? And he's just, just shaking. And I'm like, what is your problem? And I look out, and there's a squirrel sitting out about 20 yards out into my yard. And I'm like, you better go easy, because I don't need you getting hurt. I can't, Dad can't afford a freaking vet, a, a vet bill, because it always seems to be freaking expensive. I swear, having a dog compared to 20 years ago, it's gotten freaking expensive. It's like having a damn kid. Anyways, I'm scrolling over here. He takes off running out the door, and there's one, two, there's five steps coming up to my deck. He completely comes off of the top of the deck, jumps all the way off of the steps, don't even touch any of the steps, lands on the ground, barrel rolls, gets up and takes off running, and goes over to the, where the squirrel's at, and the squirrel's gone, all of a sudden he starts limping and lays down. Oh, he starts limping and, and, and trying to go chase the squirrel still. And I said, stop, don't move. And he just laid down. He knows exactly what I'm telling him to do. I walked over, checked him out. Couldn't find anything wrong with him. He, he did something to his foot 
a little while ago. I don't know what exactly he did to it, but it's his back leg. And if I walk up and I grab his back leg and I pick it up in the air, and as I'm letting it back down to the ground, it pops. And when it pops, he starts running around like it's good as new again. I have no clue what he did. So, this was about a week ago when he did that. So when he jumped off the porch, he landed on his his leg wrong and made it pop. So he started limping because it needed to be popped back into place. And it's like, dog, you're going to give me a bloody flipping heart attack. According to my doctor, it's impossible for me to have a heart attack, but I swear the dog's going to give me a heart attack. And that, that's a different story. It, that's due to my medical issues. I'm not supposed to have um, high cholesterol. High cholesterol runs very high in my family. It's usually a topic I don't really talk about because I've lost 90% of my family to that high cholesterol shit. So... There's only a few of us left. So, he's just, he's a Houdini dog. He just, he don't care if he gets hurt. He's just balls to the wall, run as fast as he can, get out the door as fast as he can. If I'm walking out the door, he's got to go first. He cannot go behind somebody else. My dad has a bad knee, well, he's had a, a knee replacement, but it's still not all the way 100% because it wasn't long ago, so every once in a while, if he lands on that knee wrong, it will hurt, so he was kind of resting at the door and Trapper freaking blew right out behind him, blew right into his knee, and about knocked his papa on the floor, I'm like... Just open the door and let him go. He just, he has no patience when it comes to a door. I've tried everything with that dog. And it, not to get off subject, but it's only the back door. Because he don't do it to the front door. If somebody comes over and they knock at the front door, he'll run up and, and sit in the in the chair and look out the window and bark while I'm talking to them. He don't run out the front door because if I go to town and I'm going someplace that he can go, like Tractor Supply or... God, help me, I love Tractor Supply. Um, oh, what's that other place that you still would... They'd, I think they still let dogs in. Oh, Petco and PetSmart. I used to always take him to those places. And and, and uh, Sportsman's Warehouse because Sportsman's Warehouse allows dogs because it's a sportsman's place. So one day I was, not to get off topic, but one day I was sitting at the gun, the handgun table at Sportsman's Warehouse. And I had Trapper with me. And this lady standing beside me, she's over there yelling at her kid. Knock it off. Put that down. Don't touch that. Get over here. Listen to me. I'm like, yeah. Y'all want to know why I don't have kids? Because I be smacking them inside their goddamn head and tell them to listen to their damn mother. Well, he walked by. His, he kept messing with something. And his mom snapped her finger and said, you better get over here right now. And he came over, and as he, as he walked by Trapper, laying right beside me, on the ground, like, just laying there, out like a light, he walks by and stomps on Trapper's tail. Trapper jumped up, turned around, growled at that kid, showed his teeth at that kid. Ever since then, Trapper hasn't liked kids. Up until, well, he loves my nephew little man who comes over with my sister 
But any other kid, Trapper will run and hide from. He he don't know what to do with them. He's like, uh, what are you? I have no clue what you are. I'm gonna go run and hide. He's a sissy when it comes to kids. And she says, oh, you better not bring that dog back in here. He was aggressive. I said, um, excuse me. Or the guy behind the counter goes, um, excuse me. That dog has been laying there for 30 minutes and hasn't moved a muscle. It's like, I didn't even think the dog was breathing. He was just laying there quiet as can be. And he goes, I seen your kid stomp his foot on that dog's tail. And the lady goes, oh my god, are you serious? Did you step on that dog's tail? And he goes, yeah, you pissed me off. And I was just like, whoa, okay, yep, to hold me back because I would, I would be telling that lady, you need to smack that boy in his mouth. Because I was raised completely different of how kids were raised these days. Kids these days, not to offend anybody with their kids, but kids these days have no respect for their mothers or their father, they talk back, they, it's bad. And everybody wants to know what's going wrong with the United States. Kids are running rampant all over the goddamn place and parents have no control over them because they let their kids do whatever they want to do. It's like, I remember when I used to talk to my mom, I talked back to my mom, I would get a, a fist across the mouth and that maybe not a fist a slap across the mouth and then I would get in trouble if I did something horrible I would get I would be told you want the belt do you want the spoon or do you want a switch now if you guys don't know what the spoon is my mom has a spoon well she had um uh, it was one of those big wooden spoons that you hang on the wall for like decoration in your house or your dining room or whatever. She pit my brother Jason pissed her off one day. She grabbed that spoon and she beat my brother's a with it. And ever since then, she used that spoon to beat our butts. And then one day she figured out that spoon don't hurt because it's a big paddle and the air is stopped because it's a paddle spoon is concaved it it don't you don't get a good swing out of it you don't get good contact oh yeah what does my mom do she goes and grabs the drill and drills a bunch of freaking holes in that spoon so it has a good airflow and she can do some beat Yeah, my mom never played around with us kids. If we didn't listen, we would get our, our ass smacked, grounded, or we would come home and we'd have to deal with grandma and grandpa because my dad worked so much, he was hardly home. I'm over here squirreling. I got completely way off topic. It just, it drives me up a wall when you see kids in town and their mom's telling them, you need to come over here and stand beside me in line. No, I don't want to. I hate you. It's like, we need to stop this before it gets too far out of hand. Yet again, I'm not telling you how to treat, treat your kids, or raise your kids. They're your kids. You do what you want. I think half of the problem with the world today is parents have let their kids get away with whatever they want. I was in Petco the other day and I actually walked out because I was so frustrated. This people in front of me, their little girl and little boy were running around the store screaming bloody murder and when the store manager says hey you guys need to calm down in the store you can't be running around screaming like that they said you ain't our daddy you can't tell us what to do and I said oh if I was your daddy I'd beat the crap out of you 
I smacked that mouth until it turned red. Yet again, I was raised in a different era. I'm a 70s baby. I was, yeah, I was, this is back in the day when you, you disrespected your mama, you got your whoop whooped. You disrespected your grandma, oh yeah. Your Grammy don't play, Grammy don't not play. All right, I'm I'm done scrolling. That was like way off the beaded path of where I was talking. But I just I get so attached to a dog or a cat. I mean, I'm not so much attached to my cat because she don't have the the love and affectionate part in her. She's she's uh she cr crazy. So she don't have that love and affectionate side to her. And if she is showing you love and affection, then you, you better watch yourself because she's probably going to snap. That's just Mary Jane for you. What did I do with that sheet? Sorry, I'm I'm scrolling. I was looking for part of this. My hand keeps sticking to this. So, is anybody working on anything fun? And I got another topic to kind of go off on, not really go off on, but to just ask everybody how they feel about it. Because I had somebody message me and they said, I see you changed your name on YouTube. And I said, yeah, I did. I've been wanting to change it for a while. Why? Well, you know, you said you your name is JTMJ Crafts. Diamond painting is not a craft. Diamond painting is not an art. And I said, really? Diamond painting is not an art. This is a blank canvas. I put diamonds on it or drills on it to make it become that art piece. To me, Diamond painting is art. So, how do you guys feel about that question? I think diamond painting is a lot of art. Like, oh, it, you're cheating, you're just doing a paint by number. Mm. Yeah, it's very similar to a paint by number. It's quite frankly a whole lot easier than a paint by number. You don't have to, well, for me it is because I get so into my paint by numbers that I don't hardly ever talk because I, like, have to really pay attention because I don't like coloring or painting outside the lines. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. I'm, I'm my own worst critic. <clears throat> so, there's that. I want you guys to, that's your homework to say so to say tell me what you guys think is diamond painting art is it a type of art that could be classified as art I, I think it is you put so much time and effort into it to get it to, to come out as an art piece or a masterpiece I think it's very much so art and um uh, Yeah, I've been getting a lot of weird messages. Asked, you know, it's not like weird messages, and I'm not gonna put anybody's name out there because they asked to stay quiet. 
they just asked if I would explain some things. And I did explain the super chat in my live stream on Saturday. And I truly hope it makes it a little bit more um, understandable of what it is and what it does. I'm sure everybody knows the basics of a super chat. So if you don't, I will go ahead and explain it one more time. A super chat is a way to make some extra funds to put back into your channel. Since YouTube gives us a free platform to use to do what we want with on it, they charge yeah, I think I think the rate is a little high, but I'm okay with that. I get to use their platform for completely free. No questions asked. I'm fine with that. So the most questions I keep getting is how can they take such a big percentage rate? Well, it's it's Google for you. One, um, two. It's their platform. They want to charge you that. They'll charge you that. So <clears throat> you click on the super chat on the bottom right corner of the chat bar, and you can. Type in a customized comment, or you can just do a super chat, whatever it, you're comfortable with. And if you want to donate to the channel, and you don't want to use the super chat, I do have a PayPal link in the about section of... YouTube so you could actually use that and also I have set up oh gosh it's probably been seven or eight months now since I set this up but I actually set up a patreon about seven or eight months ago because I figured I didn't know when I was going to get monetized because I didn't have the hours. And a Patreon is a monthly donation. So I am actually a Patreon to a couple other channels who are some really close friends of mine here on YouTube. I support their channel and donate a few bucks a month. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, there's, there's, I have tiers set up. So there's tier one, which is, I think it's a dollar. So you would donate $1 each month or tier two, I believe is $3. And that's the monthly and tier three, which is $7. I don't want to make it so, I know a lot of people go, oh, I'm not going to make a, a Patreon under twenty dollars. I'm not gonna tell you what you need to support me by. It's your decision. And if you want to make a custom donation, a one-time donation, you can do that through PayPal or through Patreon. You can set it up to where you pay, you donate one time, and you're done. You can set it up to where you. Donate once a month. It's your discretion. I just had a few people ask me those questions, and I I didn't see them on my live on Saturday, so that's why I was just refreshing this because I figured they might watch this, or maybe they'll watch the replay of my live. I don't know. So I hope that answers your questions, and. Whoever has done a super chat, I truly appreciate everybody because 
all of that money that I get through that super chat will go back to my channel for more goodies for everybody else to see. Um, maybe a diamond painting, maybe some pens, maybe some more whatever. I, I am really liking this polymer clay stuff. I may go buy some more of it because I don't think I'm going to sell them, but I may make some and send to some of my friends, my close YouTubers that I, I like. I don't know yet. I haven't thought about that. Um, I actually... Where is it? Oh, I can't find it right now. Let me see. I actually had a couple... Um... Colors... Or a couple, um... leftover pieces that I went ahead and flattened out and made round. I could stick a magnet to the back side. It could be a cover minder and it would match my pen. Oops. And then I also made a couple square ones. Just trying to fill in the last little bit of, instead of wasting. So, like I said, I hope that answers everybody's questions with this. Don't feel, well, I should say, I don't want you to feel like you have to donate. If you want to donate, you can donate. I'm not pressuring anybody. That's not how I, I have worked this. I do greatly appreciate everybody who has. But I'm not going to sit there and tell you, oh, you need to go donate. That, that's not me. Um, I didn't notice when I was making these pens that there's two sizes of pink pens. There's one that is this size, and there's one that's probably about like this size. I made the smaller ones because it was still easy to flip, plus it also used less clay. But I've got to figure out what my upload schedule is going to be because, like I said earlier, it is getting to that time of the year where I'm going to be gone quite a bit due to hunting. There's going to be Saturday live streams that I'm going to miss. It's just going to have to be part of my thing until I fill my tag. It could take one time of going out hunting and I could fill my tag. Or it could I could go all the way until the end of season and not fill my tag. It's hard to tell. Uh, and to all the people who have commented on my Dreamer Designs um, kit up with me telling me to use dryer sheet oh let me tell you I was going to kit up 
this Timney Arts and do a kit up, video, a kit up video for you guys. And yeah, that didn't happen. I, I tried four times. Every time I stopped because of my mouth, I was throwing f bombs all over the place. And I am monetized. I don't want to be throwing f bombs up all over the place and not be able to monetize a video. So I decided not to. But I just give you guys whoever said use a dryer sheet shout out to you guys because it made my life so much easier after I I went and got dryer sheets and I dumped the, the diamonds out on dryer sheets and rolled it around in the dryer sheet and then put it into the container and put a, a small chunk of dryer sheet in the container Oh, so, so much nicer. The static has pretty much gone away. So, I think that's going to do it for us for today. My stomach's actually feeling better, so... It has been hot... Um, it was, it said it was 101 today, but it felt like it was a lot hotter than that. It was, it's like, I'm sure you guys all know what a dry heat is. Where I live, it's a super dry heat. There's no humidity. So it's like, you walk out from a nice cool house, and you walk outside, and it's so dry, like, all the moisture in your skin just like, and you're like, instantly sweat. That's what it was like all this weekend. My stomach could be messed up from that. So, we're going to go ahead and call it uh, an end here. It has been 52 minutes by the time I give you guys uh, a farewell. Did I put that in the wrong spot? No. What was I thinking I put it in the wrong spot for? So anyways. If you are new here. And I haven't welcomed you. Welcome. To the family. I thank you so much for coming. And. If you are thinking about subscribing. And you haven't yet. No pressure, at your own will. I truly appreciate each and every one of you for coming and watching and hanging out and listening to all my madness. To Mondays are just kind of, well, this is actually Sunday, but <laughs> this is like, I don't know. This just helps me get ready for the work week. I just kind of let everything out on Sunday night. Open my mind for a new work week. And I just seen a color I missed. I did, I did, I did. I swear I just did. I did, I swear I just did. I don't even see it. But anyways, as always, remember peace and treat people how you want to be treated. And hopefully 
they show you the same respect back. Have a great day, everybody. I will see y'all Tuesday with a new unboxing video from a new company. I got some exciting things coming. I know I was on a no-buy, but... Some people contacted me. Yeah. You'll see soon. Alright. Have a great day, everybody. Laters.